then I think let's move on to the 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 one film that was supposed to be the contender, mm. which was Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. It was really good. I mean. For me, it wasn't as good as um, in Bruges, which was like, I thought, I think that is like this sort of um, as close to a perfect movie that I have ever seen. Everything just sort of works. It's sort of like, a, it's, it's like a mathematical formula in a way. It's so good. And I thought that uh, the three billboards had a little bit of an issue that it was sort of like... Uh, more of a mixed bag, dramatically speaking, sort of like it didn't have this sort of um, for me this sort of uh, same sort of a dramatic coherence and beauty, but it was still really good and um and for me, it was far more interesting than shape of water. it was just uh I like movies that have this sort of uh you know, like this snap, crackle, pop thing to them. They keep you interested to it. And it had like some awesome dialogue, really good performances by almost everybody, or maybe just everybody. And it was, yeah, it was a really, really good movie. Sunshine beating on a good time. I'd do anything to catch your daughter's killer. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The time it took you to get out here whining like a bitch, Willoughby. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now. I'm sorry about Angie, but the town is dead set against these billboards. You know who threw that can? What can? How about you, sweetheart? Uh, no, I, I didn't really... <gasps> Go, girl. Hey, fuckhead! What? Don't say what, Dixon, when she comes in calling you a fuckhead! I agree about In Bruges, not that it's a perfect movie, it's not quite perfect for me, but I thought... I, I thought... I saw In Bruges... I think I saw it way after the hype, after it had, maybe I, I saw it even after it had won the, because it won the Oscar for Best Screenplay, I think. Yeah, maybe. Um, at least it was nominated, and I'm always interested, we're going to go a bit into the um, screenplay nominees as well, because they're usually the most interesting for me, mm -hmm. personally. Um, uh, but I thought that it was a really, really well-made film. Yeah. It, 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 it was also a positive surprised because I didn't think much of Colin Farrell yeah. and I thought that he really showed his acting chops mm. in that movie and it was funny and it was tragic and it was awful and it was it was all all sorts of things rolled into one and I also agree with what you said about Ebbing that it's more of a mixed bag and I think one of the reasons is that that uh, the reason that In Bruges wor worked so well because it had so few characters yeah it had like three really, really mm. good characters, yeah. and then, the whole thing revolved around that. And then just recently, I saw Seven Psychopaths, and I thought that the the biggest problem that that movie had was mm. that there was just way too many mm. characters. There was a there was good sort of snappy dialogue. Yeah. The the plot was all over the place, but in a way, in Bruges is also a bit all over the place. It, it is it isn't really believable. Like no. like. Like uh, these, uh, like um, Seven Psychopaths was unbelievable. I, I think think that out of the three movies, this had the most sort of, in a way, plausible mm. plot. The problem with this plot, though, was for me. I thought that Sam Rockwell deserved the Oscar, mm. but I didn't quite buy his character. I, I didn't quite buy the arc. I, mm. I thought that that the way that he suddenly sort of changed. It didn't quite work for me. Mm. It was it was a really difficult role to play, and and he did it as well as he could, and I th I commend him for it. But I, it just fell a little bit short yeah. for me, and and that was basically the only thing that I had a problem with in, in mm. the movie. I thought Woody Harrelson was great. I thought Francis McDormand was a bit predictable, a bit sort of. I knew that she was going to win the mm. win the Oscar yeah. based on seeing that performance. Even though I hadn't seen the others, I knew that she was going to win because that was such a surefire way. But mostly, uh, mostly the casting in the movie worked really well. Um, there was a really strange review in in Helsinki Sanomat. Yeah, there was. It was weird. They gave it like three stars out of five. Yeah. 
and they thought that it was crude. Yep, yep. And and they said that Peter Dinklage is in the movie, in the movie because he's the butt of most of of midget jokes. Yeah. Which there were midget jokes in the movie, but I thought that I, I thought that his character, in fact, was quite interesting. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And 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 a rounded character. I don't yeah. think that he was completely one dimensional and stuff like that. It was. I I don't know. It was. Yeah, the reviewer said something like, um, "Martin McDonough, don't know how the, how do you pronounce it? Donahue? Is it Donahue? Ma Madonna, I think. Madonna, yeah, is more interested in being edgy than making really good movies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah. I don't know if that's really true. I, I think that that what might have been true with Seven Psychopaths. Well, I maybe, think that there was. I think that there was. A, there, that was such a flawed film in a, in, mm. in a lot of ways. It had interesting elements in it, and it had Sam Rockwell in it, and yeah. it was, but. But there was something about that movie that, it, for me, it just didn't work. Um, it had separate, and I think that this is this is actually true of most of McDonough's movies that it has. He he has a he, he has a way of using dialogue really interestingly within a scene. Mm. So uh, a lot of scenes in in Ebbing, I thought were interesting mm. because there was there was like like there was Francis McDormand's character and Woody Harrelson's character mm. and they were having a conversation or Sam Rockwell's character no. and, and and Francis McDormand's character and they were having a conversation and I thought that that in Seven Psychopaths and in, in Bruges as well mm. there there's this there are these great sort of uh, separate scenes no. that work really well in terms of the dialogue but then in terms of a complete arc yeah they don't necessarily bridge mm. that well and i think that was really evident in seven psychopaths it had it, it had a lot of separate scenes that were good yeah. but then the overarching story was something that just didn't work mm. at all um and this worked better um but it didn't work as well as is, as in bruce did i think yeah and it's it's funny because most of the characters within the movie are really not that likable. I mean, they're kind of all variations of being assholes, really. Yeah. And it's interesting. I, I, I like movies that are like that, that don't have these likable characters. That are just... Uh, because it's sort of... Um, and that's the thing about the Sam, Sam Rockwell performance and his, like, the character arc that it's really difficult to make someone become even slightly more likable after you've seen him be like this complete ass yeah so it's 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 a tough thing to do but um i thought it was sort of relatively well done of course there was the mother of Sam Rockwell's character, who you could see that she's like the, she's like this uh, redneck um, white supremacist uh, hillbilly, er, er, uh, racist of yeah, the yeah. <laughs> of the family, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's um, and he's sort of this simple guy who really doesn't. Um, I mean, well, first of all, I have said the character was really funny. I mean, I found him like hilarious. Yeah, like, in a lot of scenes because he's. It was just yes, such a, a dummy. Yeah, such a yeah. dummy. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and 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 Rockwell's good at playing those characters because yeah, he he plays a lot of, he often plays sort of dislikable. No, he does. Or at least, if not that, they're often just weird. Yeah. Just no. odd characters. It was it was funny listening to um, the co the Finnish commentators because the Academy Awards obviously is shown on i don't know which network it's shown on but there are commercial breaks yeah. and in finland they they don't want to spend that money on commercials in the middle of the night because nobody's going to watch them mm. so instead they're going to have a couple of people in a studio talking about what's going on mm. and this guy who was this so-called expert yeah. this year they all they always get these people who aren't I don't necessarily think of them as, as experts, mm. but but he he said that he doesn't 
know Sam Rockwell really at all. And he thought that nobody really knows him. And this guy has been making movies like for 20 years or yeah. something like that. And he, I, I agree that he's never been a, <clears throat> he's never been a sort of bankable star in terms of, of, of or the most of the films that he's been in being the central role mm. or being the headliner. So they've but he's been, done a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, yeah. they've always, they've, they've often been the kinds of movies that aren't necessarily box office hits. Yeah. Uh, they're a bit weird. He did the movie Moon with, with Duncan mm. Jones, and he did uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind no. with Clooney. Mm. And, and he's clearly the central role in both of those movies. Mm. But they aren't movies that everybody's seen. No, no, they're not. Um, but he's a great character actor. I think, I think he's... He, he makes the audience sort of dislike and like him at mm. the same time. In a lot of his roles, yeah. he's really good at that. That He's annoying, but yet somehow endearing. Yeah, like the role that I really liked was, um, that comes to mind is this um, in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, yeah. where he plays this, what, what is this sort of like a, what was his title? He was some sort of a president of yeah, the yeah, galaxy Yeah, Zafford Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of all the galaxies. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a really, really tough role. No. Uh, because in the in in the books, it's it's the, this sort of really larger than life character mm. in every way, and and completely nonsensical, no. and absurd. So it, you need somebody like that to play that kind of no. that character. Yeah. Anything else about Ebbing? I don't know. Um That no. much, I, that much, I have to say that I didn't think that Ebbing was the best movie of the year either. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Neither of those two, in my mind, were the really, really good films. No, I agree. I agree.